Hello there, welcome to your Thursday morning weather update from the Met Office. We have a rain warning for eastern Northern Ireland today and across southern counties, a wind warning. This area of low pressure is tracking in, bringing with it those strong winds. Gales, particularly along the coast with gusts, could reach 60 to 70 miles an hour and some high waves. Now for counties and trim and down, more rain to come, some high rainfall totals, as well as the risk of flooding associated with this occlusion, which is slowly moving its way northwards, and further bands of showery rain extending across the country as we head through the day. Low pressure firmly in charge. Let's take a look at some detail then through this morning. More clouds across Shetland and Orkney, a keen breeze here, but across mainland Scotland, if you're stepping out, yes, it's cold with some patchy frost and fog, but you'll see some sunshine. We run into more cloud across the central belt, southern Scotland, northeast England, but this rain anywhere from Lancashire, uh, Yorkshire, southwards, as well as Northern Ireland, the Isle of Man, particularly on this eastern side of Northern Ireland. And across North Wales, even to start the day, we could see some slushy, wet snow. Towards the far southwest, that's where we're seeing those strong winds picking up all the time and also outbreaks of rain. So let's just backtrack to 5 a.m. and let's look at the progression of this band of rain as it moves its way northwards and another one following. And this is where we will see those gale force winds. Outbreaks of rain persistent as they extend by around mid-morning towards the home counties, the Midlands, as well as mid Wales. A brief respite ahead of it with some brighter skies. This rain then covers much of central and eastern areas of Scotland, the far north of England, as well as Northern Ireland. Some clearer skies across the far northwest of Scotland, but rain returns to Shetland through the afternoon. As we see, this rain turns Sharry further south across England and Wales with the risk of thunder as well as hail. Temperatures then typically 10 to 12 degrees Celsius, eight along this east coast with a, a cold onshore breeze. So this evening looks like this, lots of showers churning around that low pressure system. Still that strong, intensive wind just moving across England and Wales and further showers being delivered by this wind as we head through the night. Some clearer skies in between, but this band of rain continues to bring some wet weather across northern England, southern and eastern Scotland, as well as Northern Ireland. Whereas across the far north of Scotland, you'll see rain return towards obviously Shetland, but also the Western Isles later, just creeping in across um, Orkney. Temperatures then around two to four degrees Celsius, seven or eight towards the far south. But as we start Good Friday, you'll see showers across central and southern parts of England and Wales. They'll be heavy with the risk of thunder and moving northwards. Some bright weather to start the day across northern England as well as Northern Ireland but even here those showers will develop and pretty much wherever you are you'll see rain or showers as we head through the afternoon and again some heavy pulses likely as temperatures reach 9 across the far north generally 12 to 14 degrees Celsius further south. We lose the intensity of the showers through the weekend and we gain a bit more sunshine. For more details check out our 10-day trend this week with Aidan McGiffin.